You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm excited to bring you this set. I've been waiting to do this set for quite a while. It is the Tiger Techno Toy Action Set, and they're all different Tiger brand toys. So, there is a Shelby in there, there's a Furby in there, there is the Poochie Pets. Now, we did some of those recently. There's also a Chibi Boto in there, and then some Dino Cheese, and these vehicles. So that's why I was kind of excited. They all do different things. I can't wait to show them to you. And we also have, of course, the original McDonald's Happy Meal bag. So I like to show that. So I'm going to do that first, and uh, when I come back, we'll check that out. All right, Tiger fans. As you see, it says Techno Toy Action. So there is the Aquaroid Fish. It doesn't have feet or hands, but it moves in water and on land. Clear fins and tail make it swim. Put it in water and watch it skim. All right, and then there's the Chibi Boto. Has arms, move up and down. He skitters and shakes all around. Watch his eyes open and close. Wind him up and see where he goes. So that's two of them. This cool car is colored blue. You never know what it will do. Rev it up and set it down. I'll take off after it spins around. They're actually telling you about all the toys. Furby. Furby's dressed to play the blues, except he's not wearing any shoes. Press his hat, he plays a song, he will not be sad for long. And then Shelby. He's Furby's friend inside a shell. Who knew that he could sing so well? Close the clear shell over his eyes and you will hear a sweet surprise. There's Poochie. It says, Poochie has lost his friend. Pick the path that leads him to the exact match. All right. So that pretty much goes over the bag. So when I come back, I will have some scissors, and we will start toy number one. All right, here we go. The number one toy is the blue vehicle. Blue toy vehicle. Pretty cool. Let's get that out of the package and see what it does. There is an instruction sheet with it, so that always helps. Okay, let's cut. Here's the sheet if you want to... Take a look at that. I know it's hard to see so far away on the white, but I'll hold it up for you. Let me set this here so you get a good look at that, and we'll check out the instructions here. So, let's see. So it looks like you push or pull. Not sure if it's a pullback. It looks like you could also spin it like a top, and then it flips down and goes forward. We'll have to see. Let me just show you the car first. Pretty cool looking vehicle, isn't it? So it rolls great. I don't see it as a pullback. Let me show you. There's no pullback option. Let's just roll it. Hmm. All right, well. Not sure yet. Doesn't spin this way, it's locked in. I hear some ticking. I wonder if my mechanism is shot. Yeah, it's a free spinning wheel, see that? All right, I'll have to come back to that one and check. But we got a good look at it, pretty cool. I don't see anything else that would indicate this thing needs to do something else. Let me just roll it across here if it... No. Well, we'll come back to that one. We'll see. There is another car in the set, so maybe that'll help us determine what's going on there. Number two is the Shelby. I've never owned anything, Shelby. What about you? It's electric. Uh-oh. Didn't bring in my tools. I might have to stop at some point here. Okay, so that's off. There was like a little protective thing, probably that went up here to protect his top antenna. Shelby, look at Shelby. Nice blue eyes. 
Kind of like a Furby eye. It didn't say anything, so here we go. Pull this out. Let's see if we carefully take that out. Something about flip. Ooh. Okay. There's the bottom again. And he's got this covering, which activates the sound. This and little antenna up top turns. At least it looks like an antenna. Let's do it again. See, he wants to dance. All right. Let's take a good look at that one. It says Shelby on the top. I have to keep doing it. I like the little click that you get. There's like a little action click. Where's the speaker? Oh, speaker's back here. There's three holes back in there. All right, I like it. And it works. I don't have to do anything to it. Let's hope the rest of the video is the same way. So we have the wind-up fish figure, which I can put in water. Uh-oh, that I don't have handy. Didn't even realize it, but let's take a look at it. Maybe I'll do it after I get through the toys and come back. We'll just try it out. Fish, we'll try the fish out of water. Fish wind-up figure in. Figure in. Cool colors. Okay, so wind up something on the side. One of his flippers, maybe. They show you holding it and then winding up this thing right here. Okay, not a flipper. But let's check him out. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? Very colorful. I like his colors. Okay, here we go. We're going to wind them up. Fish out of water. Got to be careful winding it. Once you get to that point, you'll know you feel it. Okay, right there. there we go. Whoa, did you see that? He's going pretty good. Once he's out of the water, and when he's in the water, then everything will flap around a lot better. Watch. Yeah, so he'll propel himself. So it says Aquaroid on the top here. Very cool. I like this toy. Did you want to get a closer look at it? His front there, Aquaroid. All right, number four is a Dino Chi and another wind-up. Very cool. I like the wind-ups. Dino Chi, number four. No instructions. Okay, so it should be pretty easy to do. Making some room here. All right, maybe his eyes light up. I don't know, probably not. I don't see any battery there. It'd be cool if they did. It kind of has that look to it. Let's see what he does. It says right on the side, Dino Chi. I'm not gonna go wind up any more of that. Here he goes. Well, not as exciting as the fish, I will say that. I was kind of expecting him to just go nuts after the last one. Let's wind him up again. Yeah, I'll drive him to you. So his legs move real slow. And his mouth goes up just a little. 
See that? This goes up and down, and then this goes up and down just a little. Now, you notice when I take it off the ground, it won't let me, it won't do it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, what do you think about Mr. Dino Chi? Favorite so far for me is the fish, and I like the color of the fish. Number five is the Poochie. We did a whole bunch of these recently in another video. Ooh, and he has, whoa, poor little guy, stay there. A battery in the back. So let me take out his battery and hope everything works fine. Okay, there was no instructions. Tail. Let's see. Let me look again. What did it say it did? Was there a little... There was no... Poochie has lost his friend picked the path. Nothing on the bag either. Hmm. Tail turns. His little front paws go up and down. You would think that would activate it. These paws do nothing, 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 nothing. I could see the batteries way in there. So it looks like we have a toy that doesn't work. And his eyes have little hearts. I bet you his eyes are supposed to light up. And he probably maybe moves his paws. Let's see. Yep, there's gears in there. And I don't see any magnet activator on this guy. So, we're going to have to check him out in a little bit. Let me just zoom in on him so you can see him better. Put your tail up. Be happy. There. Happy dog. Toy number six. Ooh, another vehicle. So maybe that'll help us on toy number one. Very cool. We'll have to revisit that one. Toy six. Red toy vehicle. Interesting, this one has no instructions in the bag. Oh, this one stopped. Okay, so this is kind of like a pullback with wobbly wheels. Let's look at it. And this spins. Aha. Uh -huh. That's cool. All right, now the other one didn't do that at all. I do like the silver on here. Pretty cool looking vehicle, I think. And a heavy one, just like the last one. Let's see if this turns in. This does not turn in. So it's fixed to stay there. But it looks like you can do that. So which wheel is the activation wheel? Let's see. See this one here? If I spin it, it spins back. So if I do this, maybe you could get some cool things. Maybe not. Whoa, get back here. Oh, there it went. So you pull it back. And then it'll go forward. Oh, cool. So this one looks a little bit different in regards to the way this is in the wheel area here. It's a thicker piece here, thinner piece here. Let's see it. 
it rolls great, but it doesn't do anything else. Yep, this one. Here it comes. Pretty cool. All right. That was number six. Number seven is a Furby. And the bag was open on number seven. Looks like it was never sealed. There's no seal marks on it. And it's a musical for you. Remember, press his hat, they said. Let's see. Hopefully he works. Everything's been working. Oh, there we go. Let me move it up here. Here, I'll put number eight so you have something to look at. Study that one. I'm going to move it up over the microphone here. I'll do it one more time. Okay, the speaker is right here in front, I believe. There's a little hole. See that? Let me do it again. Yep, that's where it's coming out of, that little hole there. So it says Furby on the tip of his hat. All right. It's nice, they're all working. Number eight is the Aquaroid. This one looks interesting. It's big. Aqua, maybe. Some more water toy? I don't know, the other one was. Look at that thing. Yes, it's a water toy. See, submerged in water. Wind it up and put it in water, and it looks like the legs flip up and down. Look at that little cardboard insert. Don't normally see that. Wind it up. Oh, cool. Reminds me of SpongeBob jellyfish for whatever reason. Okay, tough call, tough call now between the fish and this. I think they're both worthy toys. Let me zoom this out just a little. A little too close. There we go. If I hold it, let's see. No difference. Let's do it one more time before I test in water to come back. There is a wheel on the bottom, so that's what's doing the turning part. I don't feel these are activated or doing much of anything. Get a good look at this one. It's got the blue on the top. That's what the bottom looks like. Hmm. Wonder if we could do them that way. Let's see what happens. Go that way. Okay. Not too excited, but there you go. Number nine, the last toy is the Chibi Boto. Now you might say that differently, I don't know. Chibi, Bato, Roboto, I don't know. Let's see what he does. Also, he's a wind-up. Look at him. And it says, wind it up, put him down, and press that on the top. So one was on. I like the sound of that winder. It's a very delicate sounding winder. Oh, listen to all that winding. Okay, that's as far as I'm going. Here we go. It's 
That's it. Come on, buddy. You were doing great. All that whining? Here we go. All right, that's about it. And there's the name on the back. Let's do it a few more times. Definitely not one for the water. It winds up a lot here. Let me just turn it off. So now it's off. So let me turn them on. Okay, so you just get a little bit of movement out of them. All right, so before I actually do a recap, let me get something uh, to put my aqua ones in, and we'll do that next. All right, so I toned the lighting down a little bit, so you should be able to see these nice and clear. Now, I could not use this one in this smaller bowl. I didn't have a big, tall, wide-open bowl, so I got this giant jar. I believe it was an old pickle jar. So let me do the fishy first, because we saw him. We'll show him a couple ways and see how he flaps around here. Here we go. Okay, not as fast as I thought, but still cool. Let me get a towel here. And then let me do the other one next here. This way we could see them each before I give you some different views. This one I wanted to be able to just drop in from the top like this. Nice, so he fits in there pretty good. Okay, fish again. There he goes, he's having fun. Look, swimming around. Hey, fishy, fishy. This guy again. I can wind this one up and get them both going at the same time. There we go. My little aquatic McDonald's world. I was expecting a little bit more from this one. It's neat though how the legs here, let's push them down. Go up and down, you know, because there's nothing holding them in place, so the water pressure. Let's do it again. Let me uh, move the fish in. Let's just look at this one so I can show you this top down. I just like the color. Don't you like the color? Very colorful. Here we go. Here we go. Line them up good. Okay. One click past where I should have, but... One more time. Hold them out of water just a little. Ooh, he had a little little bubbles coming out. Poor guy had a little indigestion or something. Okay, let's zoom all the way in. You know, water and video cameras just don't mix too well, so I have to be careful. Got water on my hands, touching the camera. Should be okay. All right. So I'm not sure my camera is set for this tall glass jar. Let's bring it in here. Let's see if we can get a nice top-down view on this one. Oh, you can see in there. Can you see in there okay? Here, let me move this in just a little. There we go. Get this one out. Ding, 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 ding. I do want to show this one closer from the side. So let me get this in here like this. There we go. Ooh. Okay. 
And then let me do that one more time. I'll do that one more time. Hopefully this time drop it in straight. Okay, and let's see if I can just quickly get to this perspective. Move it up there. And then let me do that. Then I'll line this up. I will have to clean up my top because it is a mess. Water everywhere, but all in the name of toy fun. Here we go. Ooh, one leg got gimped there. Okay, one more time. I had to turn off one of the lights. This will be it. We've seen them now. Oh, come on, buddy. There we go. All right, when I come back, I'll show them all to you one more time and we'll just recap everything. Okay, here we go, toy number one. So I wanna hear your favorite. Toy number two, all the way down to my Poochie. Now Poochie works. Let me, uh, I got a screw temporarily holding him in together. He was a little harder to take apart than other ones because there was two little clips that were actually glued in place, but Let's see if I can hold this here and show you inside. So that is inside. Now it just looked like the batteries needed a little work, so when you press, his eyes light up, his heart-shaped eyes, see that? So these were the pins that were actually glued in place, so I had to break the pins. But it's okay, because it will still hold together fine, because there's three screws that actually hold him together. And then the second vehicle, which is the one that was actually working, is the next in line. And then our blue Furby. See now, eyes light up fine, everything works. Except he doesn't want to stand up. Oh, what are you doing, hitting your tail? Oh, there you go. And then Furby. Now I've seen this Furby before outside of the packaging, so now it's nice to know like these other toys that have been, you know, that it was originally with this 2001 set. And pretty cool, this jellyfish looking creature. So overall, what is your favorite? I'm sticking with El Fisho there. I like the fish. I think it's pretty cool. And let me know that in the comments. And have you ever seen this complete set before? Or you own it? Let us know in the comments. And if you're liking Retro Happy Meal Toys, we just, we just went into, like I said, our second storage uh, tub. So there's a lot on the way. And thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop, and watching our videos, and being so cool in the comments, and all that cool stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.